Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Games here, back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be taking on the new stages of the Wicked Bloodline uh, Red Zone here. So, we're going to start off with Cooler, because from what I've seen, uh, Cooler seems like he's just the easier one to get done, so I decided to get him done first, and we should have Frieza shortly up after, um, depending on how many attempts it takes, you know, if, if he actually ends up giving me trouble, then I guess we, uh, you guys won't see that for a little bit here, but... Uh, Cooler is a pretty simple fight, very simple actually, um, being that he only has two phases, um, there isn't that many red zone fights that are like this, um, off the top of my head I just remember Super 17, and, I mean, Janemba kinda, Janemba is like two phases in a rage mode, so it's kinda like that, um, but yeah, there's not too many, uh, red zone fights that are just strictly like this, uh, with the two phases, so, this makes it a little bit harder because typically what that means is that the first phase is a bit uh, more difficult than typical red zone stages. Um, like even like stages such as Broly, um, who has four phases, you know, this first phase is probably harder than the first phase of Broly. Um, I don't know the stats for sure, but I'm quite sure that's the case. Um, so today we decided to use uh, the Vegeta and Trunks Bond of Parent and Child and, uh, you know, Future Team just because this team is the best team in the game and it gets everything done so this is just a simple way to get it done um when in doubt definitely use this team just like when i uh attempt to beat frieza i will probably be using this team as well um this team just works so well i mean vegeta and trunks can carry everything in the first slot even though um this frieza the, this uh not frieza this uh cooler definitely does hit hard because um not quite here 100k is not too bad on a super but towards the end uh the gene trunks did actually take quite a bit of damage on a super attack uh kind of like cell max level types of cell max did more damage for sure but they took more than i thought um uh, for sure um but nonetheless they still obviously carry throughout the entire event they don't they're never gonna take damage on normals like you never have to worry about them for that so that's really good and super attacks do negligible damage for the majority of the uh, time so it, it they're just such a well-designed unit to where they can carry you so using their team is just self-explanatory right? like if you have them i don't see why you would not use their team um so as this is a very simple fight there isn't too much to talk about here now cooler does have the ability to stun in this phase i know that for sure we did not see it in that that turn but his super attack uh does have a chance to stun i'm not sure of the chance but i just know it does he does stun um, this cooler as a whole is really just a lot more, more boring um, than the Frieza. The Frieza's got five phases, so this is quite quite a lengthy uh, event. He, as well as he's got double supering, he's got AOE, he's got locking. Like Frieza, just like is just built to be a harder boss. I don't really, honestly, this run just showed me um, a how good Vegeta and Trunks' leader skill is, and b that this fight is probably not going to be no near like it's nowhere near the level of uh what freezes is but like i said i haven't tried it yet but i do i've heard from other people that it's tough um yeah but like like i don't know just going through this it just didn't give me like i i had uh the last turn the last turn was a little bit scary like it, like i thought i was fine and then i took like I, I was saying vegeta and trunks took a bit more damage on my super attack than i thought um and ended up getting quite low but we were still i, I could have avoided it if i used an item but i just i didn't think we needed it on the turn i was contemplating it but i was like i, I don't think i need it um because i it, you'll see but the turn was good and um disclaimer i was doing this at school like i was just at lunch and uh i was a little bit i was just bored just sitting there so i was just like why not let's just let's just get this done right now so that's um that's what i decided to do so that's why I was try I was trying to get it done as I was trying to speed run it essentially and just try to get it done as fast as possible. Um, if I had more time, I would have attempted Frieza too, maybe got him done, but that's all right. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do that just so I could um, when I get home, I was able to record. Um, even though I'm getting to recording a little bit late, later than I wanted to at least. Um, but nonetheless, this video should be going out uh, right after I get it uh, rendered and get the thumbnail made for it and everything uh all set with that the video should be coming out as soon as possible so that i can record some other videos i gotta do um like some of the graphic design videos i gotta uh catch up on as well as the um other dokkan content like such as the freezer red zone and uh the new events that have come out the uh 
boss rush. Yeah, the boss rush is definitely a video I want to get done. If if possible, I'd like to record a good amount of them today. Don't obviously I'm not gonna uh, upload them all today. It's not this late, but I uh, would actually I would like to see if I can get them recorded. Um, at least like the boss rush and stuff. Cause if I mean if you don't do the boss rush, you don't get the stones and the banners come out in like less like what what time is it? It's like seven something. So like I mean they come out in like twenty something hours. Um. How much time is that? 20, uh, I can't even think of, I can't think of it, 29 or something, I don't know, something, something like that. They, they come out pretty, uh, soon. So, um, be prepared for that, you're gonna want all the stones you can get. Alright, so we, we got, we, it took four turns, but we got past the first phase. I mean, like, these two phase fights typically go, they take, like, Super 17 as well, like, they take a bit longer. Um for every phase um otherwise it would be too easy right if you could get through the first phase in two turns and uh the second phase in three turns like it would just be too easy of an event um but they definitely they definitely upped uh cooler's hp cooler has uh pretty decently high hp i think cell max still is the highest um i think Broly might be higher? Broly might be higher. Does Broly have 40 million or does he have 50? Because this cooler has 50 million um, HP. And I know Cell Max is 60 or like 61 or something. I don't know. Or does he have 70? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> um, I, feel like he, I feel like I remember the number 60. Um, I know Freeze's got... Freeze's got third. No, no, no. Freeze's got 40. Yeah, Freeze's got 40. 41 or something like that. Um, Omega just has a low HP. That's why his last phase is like, it's tough, but it's not that bad because he just got, he, he, Mans has a lot, um, a lot. I mean, he doesn't have a lot. He doesn't have a lot of HP. It's like 35, like his, I just found this out today. I did not know, but his, uh, last phase HP is less than the second phase. Like I, that's, that's why the second phase feels like it takes longer than the other two phases. It's weird. I, I, I didn't realize that. That's interesting. All right, so from this point on in here, uh, we're pretty, we're pretty much looking good. I mean, we got the seven years transformed. Um, I mean, pretty bad key on this rotation, but I know that we're good. This was very important, I think. Uh, without this, we could have been in a really, a much worse spot. Because I, I think Gogeta, yeah, he still takes damage on the normal, so he would have taken quite a bit of damage from the super attack. So that was really helpful. I'm really glad that he uh got that counter in and i don't get to see it too often so i like when i get to see that stuff um i can't remember if i have i have the team set up already i think i'm going to be utilizing him in the uh, frieza fight as well because none of these fights do cancel dodge so you can dodge with these characters uh with your characters here and that's going to allow characters like the seven years to really be effective with the you know the super saiyan fours countering and the uh gods like you see right there dodging and those dodges were really important too because I mean they could have taken a lot of damage potentially. Um, okay, I think I want to say next turn is the last turn. Um, but I might be wrong. Maybe this this cooler is, like I feel like we're, yeah we're doing like a lot of damage to him with like that active skill just did a lot of damage. I want to say that yeah the the next phase is the uh, the next turn is the last turn but may it might not be. I do remember we finished on the turn with Tech God Goku, and I think he's on the next rotation, so that's why I say that. Um, I guess it really depends how much damage do we output on this turn. We got lucky with the attacks on this turn for sure. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku would definitely take a lot of damage here. I mean, he takes damage in the Omega fight, and Cooler hits pretty much as hard as the Omega fight. I think I don't think he hits quite as hard, but he does quit. He does hit um, close. So if Goku doesn't double Super, he's not going to take double digits on the normal. So. Him uh, having not having to worry about any attacks is really, really helpful. And, you know, that's that's part of it. I think RNG is certainly part of getting such a uh, pretty clean run in this, to be honest. Like, I mean, look at it. Yeah, just getting super here. We have the Whis active from last turn, and he's just going to take no damage. Um, very lucky. Although, now I think about it, um, this guy has a melee super attack, doesn't he? So you could use um, Murzamasu's counter and, like, Kid Buu's nullification, Tech OG's nullification. That's actually quite nice. Oh, you know what I you know what it is? I know what happens here. We barely miss the kill on this turn. And this is the turn we get low. And then um I think we finish it with the 
Gogeta blue active skill, I want to say. I think that's what happens here. Now, now I'm starting to remember it. Um, so I think this this uh, boy Cooler decides to super attack in the first slot, even though he just supered, if you guys uh, remember. He just supered in the uh, last slot, last turn, and then immediately supers first slot now. To the point where um, we did take a bit of damage, and spoiler tech uh, goku doesn't take uh without the rainbow orbs he doesn't take double digits um in this event so i was really scared because i was just like oh no tech, there's no way tech god goku gets me killed like that'd be the i that would be hilarious tech god goku's the reason he lost like that's there's no way um but he did take a bit of damage but it left us with just enough hp to live but it was close it was definitely close um but we were able to like like i said we got him uh close to death here and then i think we finish it off with the gogeta blue actors go um so pretty clean run besides this last turn honestly it was a pretty clean run nonetheless like i mean uh we, we only have to use one weiss i mean that's pretty good from the looks of it um uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like attempt frieza soon uh, when i get the chance i'm probably not gonna have it as easy of a time i assume i'm going to be uh struggling a bit with that one um but we'll see maybe i get lucky again with some rng um, just like, you know, getting lucky with some super attacks and stuff, and then perhaps I'll actually, uh, be fine. I don't know, we'll see. Yep, and then we just finish off with the gods. I could have finished off with Jiden Trunks, but I haven't seen the gods one in a little bit now, because, um, what, I haven't really done much difficult content lately. I've been just trying to, uh, um, I've been focusing a lot on the GFX stuff, um, so I haven't been playing Dokkan as much as I've wanted to, leading up to the, uh, worldwide down celebration but don't worry uh we plan to do all the content like always and we got summons prepared now let's just say it's it's gonna be a lot this year so be prepared like it's not gonna be like no uh str vegito and buhan summons if you remember from last um two years ago uh, it's it's gonna be good so there we go that's the clear uh for cooler like i said in my experience it doesn't feel like that hard of a fight it's not that bad like it's just like a a, a word like he's a weaker version of omega um by a good amount because the first phase of omega is not fun but uh thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy and hopefully this helps out some people um i will see you guys in the next one peace